What's up, everyone? James Murphy, back with another episode of Python Weirdness. Today, we're talking about defining functions and the code that runs when you define a function. You may have thought that when you define a function, that it doesn't run any of the code in the function. And that's almost true. So let's define, uh, let's say, do something. So what you thought um, is probably still correct. Let's say, uh, you know, this doesn't print. And this is true. When I define a function, if I were to run this code, you see that uh, the string this doesn't print doesn't print out because I didn't call the function. Whereas if I called do something like this, then of course it would print it out. But there are some things that do run when you define the function. Uh, let's look at the first of them. So when you have uh, an argument, the default value of that argument, if there is one, is actually evaluated when you define the function, not when you call it. So if I say my default argument is print uh, this runs, and then I run it, you'll actually see that this runs gets printed even though I never called the function. Now, in this case, the return value of print is none, so I've just given arg the default value of none, but in any case, you can imagine that you might have some kind of other function here that actually returns something meaningful, but that has some kind of side effect like printing or opening a file, creating a database connection, something like that. Um, so in those cases, you need to be aware that when you define the function, that code is actually being run. Uh, similarly, if I have another argument, function annotations are actually run as well. So print, uh, this also runs. Oh, I forgot that I can't have something without a default argument after something that does have a default argument. So let's just change the order there and now run it, and you'll see that this runs and this also runs. Both of those things are printed out, even though, again, I have never called the function. And similarly, if I had a return annotation, um, same here, then this code would also be run. And that may be a little bit non-intuitive, and it's one of the you know, stems of a very common uh, issue with uh, new Python programmers, which is that they'll try to, say, define a default argument of an empty list, and they won't realize that that list is actually um, being evaluated not when the function is called, but when the function is defined. And since it's the one that was um, there when the function was defined, any call to the function, even separate calls to the function, are going to be using the same list. So just real quick so you can see that, if I print out arg here and then I say arg dot append uh, zero, then if I call do something, uh, I guess I need to pass opt. Let's just do this and then call it again. You see that the first time we get arg being an empty list and the second time we get it uh, already having a zero in there. So this is because that arg is evaluated, the default value for it is mutable and you can see actually that PyCharm is warning me here when I hover my mouse over this, it says default argument value is mutable. So this is a common error. Um, and the way to avoid it is to just not have mutable default arguments there, maybe put this to be none, 
and then down here, say arg equals empty list. Well, I guess then you would be ignoring if they passed in something. So you could say arg equals arg or empty list. But in any case, the point that I'm trying to make here is just that um, some things are run when the function is defined. And you can actually see them at runtime uh, before you've ever called the function, uh, both, of course, by running it. Um, and you can see it in some hidden attributes of the function. So if we look at the double under annotations variable, um, let's go ahead and print that. then you'll see that we have a dictionary with opt none and return none. So those nones are the corresponding uh, return values of print. Print doesn't return anything. So just so you can see this, let's just put one and two. So you can see that these values one and two are already defined uh, at the time that you define the function before ever having called it. And similarly, uh, the default arguments are also available um, in the defaults, double under defaults attribute. There you can see the default value none. And just so it's a little bit clearer, let's change it to three. And you can see you get a tuple um, containing that single default argument. So those things are actually run at the time that you define the function, not at the time that you run the function. So uh, it's a very common mistake for beginners. Uh, just be on the lookout. Hey, thanks for watching again. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.